Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of the deck display on the Tractor Control S4. So right here is the deck display and it has six indicators right here that provide various deck related information. And we also have the loop size display right here. So technically seven indicators. So first we have the on-air indicator. Now this correlates with either the volume fader of a deck or the crossfader. Okay, so the crossfader could be all the way over to the left and the volume fader up on deck B and the on-air indicator will not light up. It will only light up once the crossfader is on and then we see here it lights up. And same goes if you pull the volume down, you don't see the light anymore. Next, we have the remix deck indicator. So this will tell you whether you have a remix deck set up on deck D on the right deck or deck C on the left deck. So you'll see both are the same, except for we have deck B and deck D, and here's deck A and deck C. And so these are the deck indicators right here. So if I were to switch it to deck D, now deck D lights up. And I also have it set as a remix deck. So if you look over here in my software, we have the remix deck set up right here. But if I change that, so let's change it to a track deck. And now when you look back at the controller, the remix light is no longer lit up. So let's change that back. And now it's lit up right here. However, now you'll also notice that the on air indicator is no longer on. That's because the deck is set to deck D and there's no audio currently set up in the remix deck. So that's why it's off air. But once I switch it back to deck B, here we go. Now it's set back to on air. And then right here, we have the key lock indicator. So if you have key lock set to one of your decks, the deck that you're using, so right now it's set to deck B. If I look over here in the software, you'll see that I have key lock set. If I turn that off, now key lock will no longer be lit up. So let's turn that back on and now it's lit up right there. Now below key lock, we have the master tempo indicator, and this will show you whether your deck is set up as the master tempo. This is used if you're using the sync feature in Tractor Pro 2. So typically you wanna have one deck set as the master tempo and then the other deck syncs to it and then you swap back and forth. So in order to change it, you can either do it in the software or you can do it directly on the controller. So first you have to have tracks playing. So right now I have the left deck set up as the master tempo. So we'll see that and right here it's lit up as master. Now, if I want to change it to the right deck, all I gotta do is start playing the right deck and then hit shift and sync at the same time and then it will change it to be the master tempo on the right deck. So here we go. And there you go, there it's lit up as master. And last we have the loop size indicator and this can be changed using the loop size encoder wheel and we're gonna go into the looping features a lot more in a later video. But just for now, just so you can see it in action, just turn it and now it's changing the size of the loop if you were to set a loop. And then you can see in the software too, it's changing. So you see it changing right here. Now, if we were to make it active, now it starts flashing and we have an active loop here. So if I just click over here in the software, you could see this active loop. And if I hit play, it's now gonna loop. And you can change the size just like this. And you see it changing right here. and also in the software. So that's the basic features of the deck display. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.